Good morning, Zion and friends of Zion. This is Pastor Connor. I'm with you at 7.30 in the morning to join you for prayer. So whether you're able to join us right now at 7.30 or whether it works for you to join us later in the day as it works for your schedule, I'm glad you're here. I've been so encouraged and humbled by the number of people who've left comments or people who have watched. Uh, it really amazes me. Uh, many of you I've never had the chance to meet in person, but again, I'm so glad you're able to pray with us and pray that uh, you've been blessed by our time together, at least for the few minutes we have uh, each day. So today, I want to visit with you very briefly, uh, and then we're going to pray about something called vocation. We've talked about vocation before. So a vocation is a conduit or a channel. Sometimes I call it a funnel of God's love. But today I want to visit with you about what we might call everyday vocations. Some of these vocations that maybe we don't always notice or we don't always appreciate like we should. So I'm thinking of people like uh, the grocery store clerk or the employee who stocks the shelves or the truck driver or the gas station manager or the utilities technician or the road crews that we see out. I think these are some vocations that uh, sometimes we don't appreciate like we should, and we don't always see God working through them like we should. So let me ask you a question. You pray the Lord's Prayer, right? And in the Lord's Prayer, we pray, give us this day our daily bread. How does God do that? So, I mean, ask yourself, how does God give you your daily bread? I mean, is he delivering your daily bread to you through Angels? I don't think that's how it's coming to you, is it? No, God doesn't deliver our daily bread to us through angels. God delivers our daily bread to us through vocations. These everyday vocations that I just got done sharing, right? The grocery store clerk, the employee stocking the shelves, the truck driver, the gas station manager, the utilities technician, the road crews. These are all ways or means or conduits through which God brings to us our daily bread. So I really want to help us to understand that in a very real way, when we pray the Lord's Prayer, that God answers it through these daily, everyday vocations. And I want us to, maybe through all this experience of some of the stay-at-home orders that have happened in some states or through some of the, the, the requirement to be at home, we, we realize how vital these vocations are for our daily bread. And, and I, my prayer is that God would open our eyes to see that he's working through these vocations. And that would help us to elevate the significance of these vocations and then rightly to show our appreciation to the individuals who fill these vocations because what they're doing is a godly thing. It's a beautiful thing that God is working through them, and these vocations have great value. So too often you hear things like, well, you know, you're, you're a pastor or you're a missionary, but I'm just a grocery store clerk. And I want to get rid of that distinction, that sort of sacred, secular division, and say, well, wait a minute. If everybody was a pastor, we'd go hungry, right? That, that, the world wouldn't function that way. <clears throat> so God calls individuals to serve in different vocations because he is committed to his creation. Both he's committed to renewing it and restoring it and shooting it through with his glory, which is absolutely astounding and so exciting to look forward to. I mean, a world without fear of death or suffering or pain or sorrow or any of these things, but where God lives with us and is redeemed on this earth and, and and we're free from all that, all, all the, the, the brokenness of this earth. Who doesn't get excited about that? So God's committed to renewing it, but he's also committed to sustaining it. And he does that through these everyday vocations. Now, there are other vocations God works through, and we've given thanks for some of those in the last few days. But today I want us to stop and give thanks to these everyday vocations. All right? And then when we finish our prayer today, I'm going to invite you to pray the Lord's Prayer with me and specifically to focus on that petition, give us this day our daily bread so that we can have our eyes open to see how God is working 
through these everyday vocations. Okay, let's take a moment to pray for these everyday vocations. God of love, throughout scripture, you have declared your ongoing commitment to your creation. Not only have you promised to renew it and shoot it through with your glory, and how we long for that day, a day when sickness, suffering, fear, and death will be no more, but when we will fellowship with you and you're redeemed on this renewed earth. But through our humble vocations, you sustain your creation and provide our daily bread. Open our eyes to see you at work through the clerk at the grocery store, the employee stocking the shelves, the manager at the gas station, the technician at the water plant, the driver in the 18-wheeler in the garbage truck, the pharmacist behind the counter, and so many more. Help us to see you when we see these vocations. When we pray the prayer Jesus taught us to pray, you answer it through these vocations. Open our eyes to see the answer to our prayers through these vocations and help us rightly to appreciate and thank these vocations for being your conduits of love and provision. Thank you, Lord God, for loving us so extravagantly and committing yourself to us, to sinners who in no way deserve our daily bread. We receive our daily bread in humble gratitude and give praise to you for funneling this daily bread to us through everyday vocations. In the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Savior and Lord, we pray. Amen. Now I invite you to pray the Lord's Prayer with me and focus on that petition, give us this day our daily bread. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thanks for praying with me. And I invite you to join us back this evening at 7 o'clock p.m. We're going to start an online Bible study. We're going to go through the book of Philippians. What a fantastic little book. So much content, so rich in, in Christ-centered content. Really looking forward to that. I invite you to be a part of that at 7. You can join us live or watch it anytime. But the cool thing about being live, if you do have a question as we're doing it, you're certainly welcome to put that in the comment line, and I'll do my best to answer it as we go through it. So thanks for praying, and give thanks for the, these everyday vocations that God brings our daily bread to us through. Thanks, and good day.